Hello, producer, and welcome now to Tuesday. Actually, a two-part Tuesday. The moon, as we wake up today, still in Aries, still putting emotional highlight on the spiritual junk in your trunk. But if you can just hold out to about 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 11 a.m. in New York City, then you will find that you feel fantastic. Why? Because the moon will be in Taurus, and it's not just any old moon. This is the one time of the year where you get a full moon in your sign. That is the wattage, 100% of emotional energy toward Taurus and basically their ego. This is the house of ego, the, the way you put yourself out there, what your defense mechanisms are, the, the, the wardrobe you wear, the way people see you or perceive you in, in a first kind of impression, right? So emotionally, you are really kind of the shit for the next two days, but it's also a bit of a lure. If you know full moons and what they really are, they're in opposition, right? The sun and the moon pulling on the earth in opposite directions, so with their gravity. And in your life, you feel pulled in two directions as well. For Taurus, your heart is going to want to make your ego happy. You're going to want peace with your ego. You're going to want to feel good about who you are in the moment. You're going to want it really bad, a full moon's worth. The universe says there's an answer to that, and that's where the sun is. If you want to feel this way all the time, okay, or if it's triggering you to feel bad, if you don't want to feel this way all the time, you can take the lesson negatively or positively. It's up to you and, you, and your light casting. Either way, the universe says you need to change the way you relate, the way you relate to yourself, the way you relate to other people, the relationships you allow in your life. So the moon in Taurus says you can feel great all the time if you change the way you relate in relationships. Now, we also start chapter three of Sun in long-term relationships, so it's really time to get busy. One last thing I want to bring up as well, which really does relate, is that Venus, your ruling planet, and Pluto, the planet of destruction, so creation and destruction, are now dead conjunct at 29 degrees. That means in the next few days, you have the ability to create and destroy with one kind of swoop of your magic. And what you're trying to create and destroy is your boundaries, a new system of boundaries, a new system of intimacy, who you sleep with, who you don't sleep with, when you sleep with people, how intense that can be. I would not be too surprised if Tauruses for the next 10 days are super randy because when you're randy, the universe pulls you into this kind of thinking. So create the intimate life you truly want and let's call this damn thing done as of Thanksgiving. All right, Tara, that's all I got for today. I'll see you tomorrow for Shout Out Wednesday. Live, love, be.